So today I just wanted to make a quick lighting tutorial and centering that around automobiles and showroom-esque lighting is definitely uh, going to be fun. This render here, one of my favourites. Now if you're wondering what's going on here, there's one light, no HDRI, one light. And I'm pretty sure you can guess where it is looking at the picture. <laughs> um, if you can't, then you really need to watch this tutorial. Um, I've left the car textured, I'll leave the project file I'm done with and this project file of this picture you're looking at right now um, on Selfie or Patreon if I've got that set up by the time I've uploaded this because I need to sort that out. And I'll leave a link to this model as well, this model is insane, the guy is one of the best car, you know, we've all downloaded car models and they've just been so whack and this is one of the best models I've ever saw, it's, it's great. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. Before the tutorial starts, um, I'd like to ask you to check out my Patreon. I've recently created it and I'm putting tons of assets on there, project files, tutorials. Uh, I'm going to try and put some really in-depth stuff on there. Uh, essentially, any project file I make, I'm just going to put up there. Uh, tons of textures I've made, I've had lying around. And I think the tutorials on there are going to be really useful. So if you fancy having a look, uh, please check it out. So. I just uh, took the car out the other scene, I left it textured. Um, I think I'll, I'll change the colour though, just so we can have a bit of fun with that. Um, just to look at the texture, I put some surface imperfections and a normal map of a brushed metal um, onto it. Uh, once. Dodge, dodge, dodges have to be exotic colours, but I think um, I want to go white today. Oh, no, I created a wet paint. This is the one I used. Exact same thing, though. Um, they, they always look really cool in white. Um, I like doing, like, red, because then in post, you can strip away all the other colors. Looks awesome. Uh, gamma green. <sighs> yellow. Yeah. I'll, I'll do yellow or white or something. Um, so we'll drop a camera in here. And uh, I'm just gonna do my best here to set up a nice little shot, if you will. So I'm gonna drop in a texture environment. I'm gonna black it out completely. Uh, and we'll drop in a, a floor as well. Um, I'll do it. Uh, right, okay. Drop in a light. Now, here's the technique that I used. So, flip that to 90. Straight up above the car. Way up. And turn this into a disc. You get some softer lighting. And you go way up. Just like that. Maybe uh, make this a bit bigger actually. We'll go straight up. And then we do want this to be of the main environment, but not right now. Because uh, we need to see what's going on. And then I took a tube. And the tube kind of helps keep a leash on the lighting, if you will, and tell the lighting where it needs to go. Now, does that look like the other scene or what? It already looks like it. So uh, it's definitely not rocket science, um, but I like to have it kind of covering the entire car. Uh, Get a nice little fillet on it, and uh, I'll turn it to glass as well, actually. Um, I think I had it as marble uh, before. Um, so, 0.52, and of course, there's one other thing we need to go through. So, path tracing. Now, that might actually solve our issue there, yeah. Um, and and uh, 
that's okay. And then we can start doing the fun stuff. So we'll add a bit more lighting uh, to this. Uh, but on the distribution, it's sometimes nice to add a float. Because then you can just sort of soften it up a bit while keeping a lot of your power. Put a bit of height on it. And another thing you can do as well, I remember using this technique a long time ago, actually, is, in fact, no, we'll do it like this. So take a light, grab a target, just send the target to the car. Bring it out there, clone it. In fact, no, not clone it. An array. And then no, we didn't want to clone it. Um, radial Z radius. Why? And then just quickly go into the light and uh, make them like strips like that. And then get them way out there. And then you got a nice little trick there as well. Um, and if you mix that with the other light, that might be a bit too in your face, but uh, it works. Now this yellow is just not. I'm not vibing with it now. Just not vibing with it. I'm trying red again. Red just looks so nice. How can you have an issue with red? You know what would look would look cool though, actually is um. that kind of color, but it doesn't. Let's just stick with red for now. I used to be one of these people that constantly swapped in HDRIs. I want this, I want that, I want this, I want that. And you can see what I've created here out of light and uh, I think lights are really good at playing with each other uh, and you can use that really well and get professional ass looking lighting and when you're lighting so direct like that that's when you can do things like create cylinders and again um, you know put them in a cloner of sorts and uh, then Hold on. And then they're going to play with the lighting, and that's going to play with the car, and that's going to give you an even cooler look. Um, I'm not going to go and texture all these things and stuff, but this is kind of what I, I did, and you know now it's it's blocking some of these highlights kicking over there. And then you put a bit of night. Nice, uh, you can really sell the depth of field here as well uh, if you do that. Uh, you can put a post on there. Denoise it, God forbid. 
and uh, you're good to go, really. <laughs> you would think there's some sort of very advanced HDRI on the other end of that. Some 8K studio. There's not. There's two octane lights. So, I suggest playing with that a lot. Target your lights. Target them. Target where you want them to face. Otherwise, um, you know, you think if you're holding a light up to something in person, you directly face it. Um, that you want to be illuminated. And we have this bad habit of rotating things into the <laughs> direction that we want. As opposed to actually um, taking the time to make it accurate. One more thing, which is always fun. Uh, let me just group those lights and turn them off. And uh, we'll drop another one in. This is more or less me saying, look, this scene looks cool. This is how I did it. Why did that look cool? Huh. Uh, Is yeah, because I did this in the other scene and I was always switching back and forth between it. Is um, one very powerful light by itself off to the side. Um, it just looks awesome. It gives you the most amazing effects. Blast it all the way up to one. Looks just as good. Um, I don't know how long that took me. Maybe 10 minutes? 15 minutes? 15 minutes, okay. Um, so <laughs> I hope it is, it is useful. It's a very quick tutorial. Um, just some people seem to have a bit of trouble deciphering how I uh, did it. Um, when really it was <laughs> very simple. And uh, I think uh, try applying it. funnel, use use things to funnel lights, because this is very real calculations. They're going to bounce around places. So if you you know using the tube to funnel the light down, um, makes a big difference to how the light hits the car. So <laughs> um, use it to your advantage. Make some cool shit. And I'm going to keep making tutorials. Um, so I will see you in the next one and I will not go so long without uploading. <laughs>